Hey, Master Gardeners, are you finding any of these caterpillars in your vegetable garden? Whoa, can this guy eat or what? A voracious eater. Here he is. This is actually a, not the tomato hornworm. This is actually the tobacco hornworm. The differences are in the color of the horn. His head's at this end. Smile. Hello. I'm going to eat your tomatoes. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. So that's his head. I've had him in the refrigerator, so he's not moving too quickly for you guys. This is his rear end, and you'll see the horn on the back end. Notice that it's a red, orange, sort of pinkish color. That's the sign of the tobacco hornworm. The tomato hornworm, that horn would be black or blue on the back end. So two different color horns. This tobacco hornworm is the more common one that we find in the garden. So in fact, I would say they're kind of named incorrectly. But anyway, they both do the same kind of damage. I bet you have tomatoes yourselves that have been, foliage has been eaten right off of them. And this guy can obliterate. You know how it is. It'll eat your whole plant off. And what I found in my reading is not only will they eat the foliage, they'll actually defoliate the stems. They'll actually nibble on the ends of the stems and eat them right off. When I saw this before, I thought it was a deer had gotten in the garden and had eaten these. In fact, that is what the caterpillar will do is actually eat these off. So this is a very bad predator in your garden. It's easy to control, so don't fear. You just pinch them off, grab them, and drop them in a cup of soapy water. That's your best solution. But if they're parasitized and they have little rice pellets growing up off their back, it means that an insect has laid eggs and they're growing inside the caterpillar. Therefore, if you have the little white rice pellets up across the back, do not kill that caterpillar. You want him to continue to live and very slowly he is being eaten from the inside out. And in the next few weeks to come, he'll actually die. So you don't kill him. But for these, you just pluck them off. Man, they will eat your tomatoes. So how do you know you have them? One of the best ways mm -hmm. to notice is you see these fecal pellets. As you can see here, they actually have, there's some dried ones here and then some larger ones. There will actually be six segments on these big pellets. These two bigger ones are fresh and these smaller ones are dried ones. So if you see these around the base of the ground, around your plant, or up on your plant, then you know to look for them. They're not easy to find. They are so well camouflaged. They're very hard to find. The suggestion is to go out with a uh, flashlight at night and start looking and shining under the leaves in the evening hours. They're a little bit easier to find in the evenings. Usually you only find one generation a year of these hornworms. And I didn't tell you the best part. I, I went down to the light the light down at our barn, and I got you the moth. This is what the moth looks like. So here's the distinguishing characteristic. Look at the orange segments on his body. Very big moth, very big moth. Let go of my fingers, little buddy. And the other indication is, are these little lines on the back, on the wings, these little gray striated lines is another way to identify him. Here's his head, he's got a big, these are hawk moths. Hawk moths or sphinx moths they're called. So very big, very big moth. Look at his pretty body, see the pretty orange? There's a nice view of him, nice view of him. So this is your uh, tobacco hornworm. I, I'm not even sure if the tomato hornworm if she looks a little bit different, I don't I don't know how different that sphinx moths looks. There's a whole big group of sphinx moths, usually one generation a year, so you only have to worry about these this one time period in their garden. And these caterpillars are pretty easy to raise. Your kids, if you catch them in the garden, put them in a little, uh, whatever these little containers are called, these little reptile boxes, and they're easy to raise. You would just cut some stems of your tomatoes. I like to put them in a little baby food jar of water to keep this fresh and then let him feed and keep feeding and then he'll pupate inside here and then you can grow them. Usually when they're pupating, they say sometimes they don't mature their wings correctly inside. So you need to keep them misted and you keep them moist in there. But it's an easy thing for kids to do. Catch these hornworms and raise them. So there you go. There's your tobacco hornworm that's on the potatoes. They can, I didn't tell you, they're on all the solanaceae. They can be on your peppers, your eggplants, your tomatoes. They can be on, um, Horse nettle in your field, it can be on your tomatillos, anything in the Solanaceae family, these guys are predators of. So, ha oh, there's your lesson. I know you're going to see them this summer.